Welcome to another tutorial on FortiGate Firewall. Today we will see how the load balancing mechanism works on FortiGate Firewall and we will configure the same as well to test it out. So on my screen is a simple network topology that we will consider for the load balancing scenario. We have the FortiGate Firewall with port one being internal port 192.168.0.108 connecting the uh, node 1, node 2, node 3 servers and the traffic will be distributed or load balanced across these uh, nodes or these servers node 1, node 2, node 3 which is behind the 40 gate firewall and the IP address for a node 1, node 2, node 3 is 192.168.0.4 192.168.05, 192.168.06 and the external port which is the port 2 on 40 gate firewall is having an IP of 14.140.40.108 and the virtual server IP is going to be 14.140.40.99 and we will connect to the 40 gate firewall on the virtual server IP 14.140.40.99 and then the 40 gate firewall will do the load balancing and will uh, uh, try to fetch the resources from the uh, nodes behind the 40 gate firewall based on the techniques that we will be configuring. So that's pretty much uh, about the network uh, topology. And uh, let's quickly jump to the documentation part to understand few uh, types available right now. So this is the documentation for 40 OS 741. So I'm working on 741 on my firewall. So you have multiple virtual server types. For example, HTTP, HTTPS, IAMPS, POP3S, SMTPS, SSL, TCP, UDP, IP that I'm going to cover while configuring. And then the load balancing method includes a static, which will statically spread evenly across all the servers. So the traffic load will be statically evenly uh, spread across all the active servers in your uh, group. Round Robin directs the new request to the new server in a round Robin manner. Weighted would be, uh, you know, related to scenario where you have a real server with high weight value that way is going to receive the larger percentage of connection. So it is dependent on the weight that you will be configure, configuring for each uh, server behind the 40 gate firewall. Lease session would basically direct the request to the real servers that has the least number of uh, concurrent connections. So this particular information will be taken from the session table on the 40 gate firewall. So least entity is, uh, is something where you direct the session to the new server with lowest round trip time that you will be monitoring using the health check that I'm going to explain in the next step. So first live is uh, direct the session to the first live real server in the group. And HTTP host basically load balance the HTTP host connection across multiple servers using the host HTTP header. So let's quickly move into the 40 gate firewall for the configuration part so that we can understand this efficiently. So this is my 40 gate firewall on my screen. You can see port two is having an IP of 14, 140, 40, slash 24. Port 1 is having an IP of 192.168.0.108 slash 24. As per our diagram, you can refer to this particular diagram. I will share the link in the description. And this includes the configuration part as well. So quickly moving into our firewall configuration. So IPs are already configured. The first thing that you will have to do is go to system, go to feature visibility, and you will have to enable the explicit proxy. But for that, you will have to enable uh, some commands from the CLI. Then only you will be able to uh, enable this explicit proxy option here. So let's try to do that.
So you will have to get into config system settings, and then you will have to set GUI proxy inspection enable. Once you do that, this particular option uh, should allow you to enable the proxy. And without this, you will not see uh, the inspection mode on the policy configuration. So make sure you do that in the first step. Now, go to policy and object, click on health check. It is not mandatory, but uh, we will uh, consider creating one. So let's try to create the health check, click new, name it as LB. Now um, I'm going to choose type as ping. This is going to check the health of the uh, servers behind the 40 gate firewall, like in our diagram, node one, node two, node three from the 40 gate firewall. So let's try to create the health check monitor. So I've named it as LB ping interval is 10, two, three. I'm going to keep it as um, the default values. If you want, you can change it to TCP, HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS based on the server configuration or the protocol that they will accept for the monitoring purpose. So now we have the health check in place. Now move on to the virtual server. Click on virtual server, which is under policy and object. We'll create the virtual server group. So I'll name it as LB. And I will name it as IP because I would do some testing based on ICMPs or based on the IP-based application. So like I said, uh, in the documentation part, they have multiple types available for the virtual server. So I'm going to choose IP, but in case you have any specific application that has to be load balanced by the 40 gate firewall, you can select TCP, UDP, SSL, HTTP, HTTPS. But in my case, I'm going to select IP because most of my testing will be based on ICMP traffic that I'm going to initiate from the client machine. Interface is going to be port two where my public IP is configured 14140.40.108. Virtual server IP, well, I'm going to put it as 14140.40.99. Load balancing method, well, let me go with round robin but in case you have any specific requirement, you can go to the documentation part to understand various uh, load balancing methods and whichever suits you, you can configure there in the setting. In my case, I'm going with round robin for the demonstration purpose. Persistence, none. Health check, well, the one that we created in the last step, health check, I'm going to add it here. And then in the real server section, you will have to create the servers and type is IP. I'm going to put the node one IP here, like in the screen, in the network diagram. So I'm keeping the mode as active. I'm not changing anything. So now the first server is in place. Now let's try to create the second one. Active. Let's try to save this. We'll create the third one. So mode is active. So these are the servers uh, basically hosting the general uh, uh, services like HTTP, HTTPS, ICMPs, and the rest of the monitoring protocols are accepted on this particular server. So now we have the configuration in place for the virtual server. Let's try to save this. Now the next part is the firewall policy. Click on firewall policy under policy and object. And then create a new policy. Let me name it as LVIP.
incoming interface is going to be port two, which is a public IP facing interface, 14140.4108. And the outgoing interface is going to be port one where all my uh, servers are connected. Source is going to be all since anybody can connect to these servers and the firewall can do load balancing. The destination, well, you will have to select the virtual server that you have created. Let me select that. Services, um, let me keep it to all, but you can uh, have some granular uh, configuration here. So let me cl click all here. NAT is required because uh, I do not want the servers to know the IP address of the client machine. So I would definitely do nothing here. And the inspection mode, you will have to click as proxy based. So the inspection mode is going to be proxy based. NAT is enabled. No inspection as of now. Log the traffic. Okay. Let's try to uh, save the changes. Now we have the policy to allow the traffic from outside to inside. That will do the load balancing based on the virtual server object that we have created. Um, now let's move on to our client machine. So this is our client machine with an IP of 14140.40.12. So dot 12 is the IP address on the client machine. Now let's try to uh, set up the session command to uh, make sure that the Traffic is hitting the 40 gate firewall. As of now, there is no uh, sessions in the session table. So let me try to initiate some ping to the virtual IP, which is 14140.40.99. And now we have the ping. And you can see here, the first session is allocated to dot six server. You can see the source is 14140.40.12, which is the client machine that we are working on right now, going to 14140.40.99, which is the virtual server IP. And you can see here, there is a translation going on, which is redirecting the traffic to 192.168.0.6, which is our node three. Moving back to our client machine. Let me try to clear the session and initiate one more ping. Now I'm pinging the virtual server IP again. Now let's see to which particular node this request is sent to. And you can see here this time the 40 gate firewall is uh, sending the request to the next server, which is dot four. This is the translation. One means the ICMP identifier. You can see here dot four, which is node one. Now let's try to clear this session and see if it is redirecting it to the node two or not. Now let me try to initiate some ping again. So this time you can see here, the traffic is being redirected to dot five, 
which is our node two. So we have seen that the FortiGate firewall is using the round robin algorithm to allocate the request to node one, node two, node three in round robin manner. So that proves that the uh, traffic is actually hitting the uh, virtual server object and the FortiGate firewall is doing the load balancing. So now on the FortiGate firewall, um, if I refresh, you will see the hit count increasing. You can see the bytes increasing here in the policy, as well as on the virtual server, you can see the hit count increasing and last used uh, option as well, which is showing up here. So that's all in this video. Um, do let me know if you have any questions or any uh, configuration related issues that you are facing in your network. And that's all in this video. See you in the next one. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.